Hey guys, so today I'm going to be bringing you a 3 minute guide for Vayne. Now Vayne is really strong in the current meta, she's a great late game, she's a really strong jeweler, and she has a really high mechanical skill cap, which means there's plenty of opportunities to outplay your opponents throughout the game. So for my shoes, I'm 21.9. Now the reason I don't run 21.6.3 is because you don't really need the mana regen, but you do need the extra survivability to help you survive the lane. Now for runes, I run very standard flat AD marks, armor seals, magic resist blues, and then 2 life steal and 1 AD quin. Now the reason I run 2 life steal is just to help sustain you in lane, and then the 1 AD will help you last hit under turret. So for skill order there are 2 options, but I prefer taking Q first, then W and then E, taking a point in your ultimate whenever available. This gives you great repositioning and allows you to abuse the stealth in your ultimate more effectively. The other option is to max your W first, then Q and then E. Now this will give you the most damage output with your W, but it does mean that your trades in lane are a little bit weaker. Sylvain has a lot of choice when it comes to build paths, but I'm just going to focus on the 3 most viable options at the moment. Now you want to start with the Doran's Blade, and this is because it gives you the health, AD and life steal that's going to allow you to sustain in lane, and also the trade potential. Now the two items you want to work towards first are going to be your Cutlass and then your Berserker Greaves. Now I'll put the core item here as Blade of the Ruin King because I think it's the best option for her at the moment. The active gives you great kite potential, does a lot of damage to the enemy and also heals you for a lot. It also gives you attack speed and life steal which makes you a great jeweler and synergizes with your W really well. Now this is where the build paths differ. So if you're feeling Korean you can go Blade of the Ruin King, Phantom Dancer into a Shiv. This build is all about your W and the attack speed that you get from it. The lack of AD is made up from the bonus damage on the static Shiv so that means that your auto attack still do a relatively large amount of damage. So if instead you want your auto attacks to do more damage then the European build is going to be the one for you. The Infinity Edge and Last Whisper combination means that your auto attacks and crits actually do a hell of a lot of damage and the Blade of the Ruin King is still going to give you the kite potential. Now the last build is completely different, it's only really seen on the NA servers. You're going to go Bloodthirster, Phantom Dancer and then Last Whisper. Now this is going to mean your auto attacks and especially your tumble does a lot of damage. Once the Blade of the Ruin King gets nerfed this is probably going to be the build that everyone reverts to. Finally, these are the three most viable options for defensive items. J is good when you're getting focused by assassins or burst down in teamfights. QSS is good against hard crowd control. And Frozen Mallet is good when you're not really getting focused but you need to kite more. Vayne levels 1 to 3 is reasonably strong because of her kit. She has a stun with her Condemn, the auto attack reset with her Q, and then the W for extra damage. Now, the best way to harass on Vayne is going to be to wait the enemy comes to CS, auto attack them once when they take that CS, and then instantly tumble for a second auto attack. Now, this means you're going to get two auto attacks with the extra tumble damage in a very short space of time, and it's difficult for the enemy AD to return that sort of damage. Now, pretty much all of Vayne's kill potential lies on her Condemn. If you condemn the enemy AD into a wall, you're most likely going to pick up a kill or at least a flash but if you don't manage to condemn them, you're probably going to lose that trade. Now your job in team fights is to attack the closest target possible, and Vayne is really good at shredding tanks, so it doesn't matter if you're attacking the tankiest target on the enemy team. Remember to use your tumble defensively, and never tumble into the enemy team, but always away from them. Your kit is really good at kiting, so you shouldn't need anyone else to peel for you. So thanks for watching guys, as I said before, I'm going to get around to doing all of the AD carries, but please let me know in the comments below which ones you want to see next. As always, if you like this video, please do like and subscribe, it helps me out a lot. Go check out my Facebook, follow me on Twitch, and I'll catch you next time.